are the anti-Scientologists in danger of becoming as bad or worse than David Miscavige and apparently even Hitler? Well, that seems fairly silly. That said, I do think there are areas where William can be criticized and should be criticized, but is it fair to compare him to Hitler or even Aaron to Hitler? Well, I'm going to concentrate on William. For those just tuning in, essentially William has been organizing a lot of very effective protests out in LA and inspiring people to basically mock and come down to the Scientology centers and just be very active and mocking and asking questions about the Scientologists and their role and many iffy activities and so on and so forth. And he's definitely done a lot of good work exposing the LAPD and the corruption as well as Scientology itself. That said, I do agree this message is not, not good. So apparently he does kind of fancy himself the charismatic leader who is saving everyone. And also he, yes, he, he alone saved the whole movement, whereas the rest of us are just sitting around complaining, not doing anything. He was doing all the work and we don't appreciate what he's up to. And yes, he wants to eliminate Scientology. He doesn't care if people in Scientology are victims. I mean, if you want to concentrate on that, that's you. He's here to tear the whole thing down and just destroy the thing and be done with it. ...is to end Scientology. You get that? I've been saying it from the beginning. I believe you, William. And here's what I have to say to that. I put this in your chat. Uh, on this particular comment, it's right here. I said to you regarding you wanting to end Scientology. In a free society, you don't have the power or the right. I agree that William's approach is not helpful. He's done a lot of great productive things. He's got many more subscribers than I do. So clearly some of his approach is definitely resonating with people, but we have to be careful on two levels. One is the obvious ethical dilemma that if you fight fire with fire, you might become as bad as the person you're criticizing or the movement you're criticizing. I don't think we're at the Hitler level. And by the way, I have seriously studied Hitler and fascism for some 20 years. So I don't see a Hitler parallel. I do agree this is some um, unfortunate authoritarianism, but unfortunately authoritarianism is very, very common. But it's not identical to what Hitler was doing. It is part of what Hitler did, but not the whole thing. And then there's the second level of making all these judgments about people who quote unquote sit around complaining. Criticism of Scientology goes back a long, long time, as early as the 1960s. So the idea that one man has suddenly saved all of us seems a little silly and a bit hyperbolic. So I do agree that William's rhetoric and his methods need refinement. He's not Hitler or anywhere close to that yet. But yes, I think definitely part of the anti-Scientology movement is kind of aping the methods of Scientology. It's weak, but it is there, and there is room for a concern. Nothing too alarming yet, but I do think it's fine to raise a red flag and ask, we got to be more careful with our methods and approaches dealing with Scientology.